Okay, just a couple of small projects this week. Um, so this is what I, I thought it was actually a watercolour when I first saw it in the shop. It's just a little print. I've just trimmed a little bit off the top. It wasn't very big. And a little bit off the side to make it more dollhouse size. Um, uh, or inks or something just to take it down a tone or two. And now I know it's not a watercolour. I'm not even worried about doing that. I was before. I've got this, which is just going to hang on the wall in Follybeck. I said I was always looking for appropriate things. So those two are kind of farming country pursuits. And then I wanted to finish that kitchen light. So I have I have a box of shelves. I keep a box of shelves. Shelves. Back. I'll show you it. Right. Nice old cabbage box. Um, here's my box of shells. I have all kinds in here. And I have a lot of these. And I usually make sea glass and uh, shell. Sort of like window lights hanging down. So they all wind chimes. So they, they make a lovely noise. So those, I thought, would be quite appropriate for a lampshade. Because they do actually really show the light through and I have another one which would look gorgeous but not for this house. That one I'm thinking of drilling a bit more and then if I put something like that over the top it will send it more central so if I glue something like that and then that's like a lampshade and I could even put a bit of frill around the bottom. I was contemplating drilling holes in and hanging some beads from it which I think would be lovely so we'll see which route we go anyway you know me I, I make it up as I go along and that's the way I've always done it. So nothing's, cha nothing's changed. So anyway, yeah. So they're just a couple of projects. They're just little ones. Like I say, that one's literally just, just going to have another jump ring on it and hang it on the wall. It's actually old, that. It's um, it's made of pewter, I think. It's not silver. But it is, as you can see. Really nice. So anyway, we'll get on with it. And by the way, I'm back. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to be my usual messy self. Um, I'll start off with this. Shell is quite easy to drill and shape and stuff. It's just dusty. It isn't something you want it to be breathing on. So that's why I'm doing it in water. And also water makes your drill bits last longer. Right, so I've changed onto this. It's it's just like a little grinding stone type of thing. Right, so what I've done is I've got this one to the right size. That now goes on there quite easily. My plan is to put, like my other one, put it, sorry. This one goes on quite easily. I shall put an elastic band underneath to keep it in place, I think. Hopefully that'll be weighty enough. Should be. Um, so I've put that on there. And then draw around where I need to be. So, yeah. Hopefully that's going to work. We'll soon find out. Okay, right, I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I've just recorded the beginning of that and it's all in a square format. I don't know. I don't understand the technology. It really does baffle me. Anyway, this is the trim. I think I've decided to go. It would be lovely to put beads on it, but I think practicality in a kitchen, it needs to be a bit more just lacy. So I'm going to use this old vintage trim. And I think that'll look quite pretty. The, the one I really wanted to use was this one. Because this does look really pretty. But it is nylon. Um, and when it's up against the light, it looks so pretty. It looks like a proper little... How it's meant to be. But, you know, it's an old house. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the old stuff. Which does look equally as pretty. But, you know, maybe not quite as effective. I won't be gathering anything, I'm just going to put it on as it is, glue it on, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of an odd shape because it's, it's that shape. Anyway, I'll glue it on and get back to you. Right, so I've changed it a bit. I have put some new lace on as well, just because it's so pretty. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm not even a really frilly person, but I do like that. Um. So yeah. That's it, more or less finished. That's it from the inside. 
I've got to let that glue dry overnight, so I'll film it in place tomorrow. Right, so I had a little change of plan while it was drying. It just damn well kept coming off. So I've put the shell that was going to go on the outside on the inside, and that seems to be keeping everything in place. There's just a little bit there that's come away. It isn't quite under the shell. But other than that, it's all there. So I'm quite happy with that. And it, I've just tried it and it does actually go on. So once again, <laughs> it's come together. I might just try and move that shell. I don't know whether I should to incorporate that little bit there that isn't caught in. I'll give it a go. I probably shouldn't do this. right that's got it so that because this is obviously a nylon-y type lace that glue did not want to stick to it so that seems to be doing the job anyway oh yeah pleased with that I'll still show you, I'll give it a while to dry and uh, I'll show it you tomorrow. Right, thought I was recording and I wasn't, so we'll do that again. As you can see, I've got glue all over my fingers. Right, so we're just putting an extra jump ring on this so it hangs the right way. I mean, obviously this was somebody's little necklace, but it's now a little plaque or picture or whatever you want to call it. Nice and simple. All done. Right, this is make or break. I don't know. Let's have a look. Hmm. I'm just going to age it down a bit. Whoa. Hmm. That's right, it's stuck to the... I'm just trying to make it look a bit older than it is. Uh, just take that colour off. A little bit of that. Just take a bit of my ink pad. Well, at least we can see the uh, autograph there now. Let me go tell what that says. I don't know. Is it something Hillary? Hillary? Hillary Man? I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> Never heard of them. <laughs> right, there. I think that's... Yeah. Just filled in those last few bits. I just thought it looked a bit more better. Anyway, it's done now. So right, we need to make a frame for this now. Just while I'm here... Once again, you know, really appreciate you tuning in and subscribing, commenting, give me a thumbs up. And anyone who's bought me a coffee, thank you so much. So, and also next week, uh, at some point, it'll probably be the back end of next week. I'm doing a weather vane for Follybeck, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah, it's going to be good, I hope. Anyway, in my head it is how it all... <laughs> <laughs> turn out i don't know but in my head it's going to be good right i've decided to cut it exactly to size in the end um i don't know why my thoughts i'm not sure what my thoughts are on this to be honest with you but, <laughs> but anyway, that's what i've done so i'll have a quick tidy up and we'll carry on 
Right, I'm going to try this. I have this embossing folder and I saw this technique um, with Lou Collins. Now, she is a fantastic card maker. <laughs> I'm not. So I'm just going to give it a try once. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, so be it. But I'm using embossing ink on the raised side of the embossing folder. Right, so apparently we fold that over into its embossing sleeve, not letting it move. And then we're going to run it through the machine. I'll do that and we'll see what happens. Right, so I have this gold. I'm going to put this on. You can use this on wood as well. I think it would be a really good technique, to be honest with you, for dollhouse uh, stuff. Let's try that on the top. I just don't want to brush it all out of there. I think that's brushing it all out, isn't it? <laughs> God, I've lost it all. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Right, just bring it back. I just tried this. I, I used, she did use, um, I only watched it once. She used a sharp edge of something like a plastic. So I'm just doing that. And that seems to be putting it in the right place. Because obviously I want it in between there. I mean, it's not going to get rid of it all, but anyway, it's worth a try, isn't it? See what we end up with. Well, there you go. It actually did work. Um, if you see the scorch marks, I had to use my blowtorch because I couldn't find my heat gun. I keep losing it. It honestly, I keep putting it in a safe place and it keeps going. I honestly don't know where it's off to, but you know, yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? And obviously, the other option, like I say, would to be put um, guilt on the back of there. But I'm going to see if we can salvage what we've got there. Sorry, that on there, and I've got a bit of gold lace on. I feel it should curb up a little bit like that. I'll put a little roll of clay around the outside. Right, I've done, done myself a little roll of air dried clay and I'm just going to put it on there and, and hopefully, I don't know whether that's going to stick on or not, I'll be honest. Never tried it. <laughs> it's a new one on me, so I'm just trying it out. Right, so some of this has come off and I've had to glue bits back on. It's not 100% dry yet. Time is an issue today, so <laughs> I'm just going ahead regardless. And really and truly, I was going to paint it gold as well, but... Right, come on. Let's just ease it all in place, like that. I mean, it depends on how this looks, whether I decide to uh, put anything over the top of it or not. I was thinking of some lace, so. All things come off, it has. Oh, nightmare. But like I said, these things can be fixed. I'm not going to let it beat me. I think I've just lost a bit. But <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, better now than on the when it's on the wall. That like that, and just put a bit of gold around the edge or whatever I could. Right, as always, you know, I like to show you warts and all because I'm not the type of person that tries to hide ram steaks. And <laughs> when I came to it the next day, it just wasn't sticking in places. And I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to take it back off and try something different. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've had to think about it. I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place. Um, I could just use a bit of uh, foam tape, couldn't I, to give me that cushion. Oh, this was the lace I was talking about. This is, it's like a wire lace. I don't, it's really nice. And obviously I was going to put that around the edge, but I kind of almost want to save that for something a bit more special as well. 
I do have another little picture that I want to do for um, Bugmore House, so I don't know, we'll see. Right, so I did exactly the same process as I did as you saw with the folder, but instead of using the raised size, I've used the flat side and I put the embossing powder on and then because, as you know, I can't find my heat gun, I used my torch. And as I was doing it, it, it didn't catch anything. I could have left it and I just thought, you know what, I want it to look like wood and gilt. So I carried on burning it, which really dulled down and took the shine off the gold as well. And that is absolutely much, so much nicer. That's exactly the kind of thing I was hoping to have. So, yeah, for me, that grungy old dirty look is perfect because <laughs> that's what I like. So anyway, yeah. It just shows you sometimes you can, you know, do things that aren't meant to be necessarily done with them, with products, and yeah, you get a different result, and I like that. And this is um, this is just a piece of card that the actual paper, it was like the 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 book the book bit of the, the papers in between the two fault pieces of card. It's just a thicker piece of card, but I do really like that matte look. It makes the gold look so much older. So anyway, let's hope we can work with that. Right, so I'm just going to use this. You can buy it anywhere. It's just stuff that card makers use and people who do paper crafts. But that's too wide, so I'm going to cut it in half. I'll do that. Get it stuck on and get back to you. Right, so I've put the foam on there. Then I'm going to cut this out like I did before and um, make it into some sort of frame. But as I was just looking at it there, do you know what? I said about wallpaper before, that would make fantastic panelling as well, wouldn't it? So anyway, back to this project. <laughs> right, so I've just brought you back to what I'm doing. Uh, this is a thin, a thi I've got the other tape on. This is a thinner tape, as in depth wise. And you can buy thin strips of this, I just I haven't got any. Right, that's better. Okay. So then I'm peeling the, because this is double sided stuff. I'm peeling it off that bit and then putting it on the very edge there. This is just so it gives me a, I can't think of it, I don't think chamfer is the right word, but in like in a wedge, which is what I want. That one's possibly a little bit too close to that size, but, you know, it's going to have to do. So I'll do the other bit. Get back to you. Right, so to make my mitre corner, I'm just taking the length of the picture. Like that. Hang on. No, I think I've overcooked that a bit. There. Put it to be. So I'm just taking my little triangle. And using that as an angle somehow. <laughs> I can't, it's that way. Uh, yes, that way, right. Okay, so that goes underneath. That line crosses there, runs down there, and that should give me my. Let's see. Like that. Right, so I'm just putting some of my gold wax on the edge. Right, to do this last one. So just pulling that off. Ooh, get off. Putting it on at an angle, because that's how I want it. I'm pressing down and uh, yeah, make sure it's sitting flat. I might put a bit more card on the back yet to strengthen it a bit more. We'll see. I mean, the stuff I put on was actually quite thick. It was that stuff. So I'm sure it was that stuff. Or why is it not the same colour if it's that stuff? Hmm, interesting. 
Maybe I didn't put it on. I cut it there and I never put it on. Look, that's why. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was thinking it was a bit flimsy. Right. So this is the piece. <laughs> we'll start again. That I originally meant to put on the back and totally forgot about. So I'll glue that on to make it much more substantial. That's why it was bending so much. Good grief. I just forget my head if it was loose, I tell you. Well, just uh, thought, oh yeah, that looks nice. I'll just trim the backboard off. I caught the knife and dug in. And so I've had to take that whole piece back off, which is really quite annoying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Right, finally, I had to replace that piece. It has damaged my picture a little bit along there. And to be honest, it's not great. The other sides are okay. But because obviously that one I've got extra foam on and it's cut into, it's not good. But luckily it's the underneath one, so... But anyway, I think I just chamfered it off with a knife um, to edge it back a bit like a frame would be. So you can see from that profile. But anyway, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm quite happy with it, actually. Other than the mess I made at the bottom. <laughs> but I'm also covered in gold. So we'll get them... The string on we'll get the hung up and then we're done right so let's have a look at these things in place right there's the lampshade as you can see it's it's a bit messy the way i put it up but i'll have to come up with something else maybe but it's not too bad so i'll turn it on now for you to have a look right so there it is lit up i actually think that's really pretty and i really like it so and it still gives off plenty of light which is good So yeah, shells are good for lampshades. I'll very quickly show you what I meant about this other shell that I had. Wouldn't that be beautiful as a lampshade of some kind? I mean, it doesn't have to go on the ceiling. It could be on a standard lamp, but I just think it's gorgeous. I just wanted to show you that because I will do something like that in the future with it. Right, so there's the picture in place. Uh, I moved it over the mantelpiece because I thought it looked nicer. And the little plaque type thing is there. So anyway, here it is with the lights off. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Ta-ta for now.